Hi and welcome back to another video from the Noob Gardener. And today I will be talking about how I root my dragon fruit cuttings. Um, but before we begin, uh, if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as I am trying to get to my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers. Um, so back to my main uh, topic for today, how I root my dragon fruit cuttings. Uh, but first things first, how do you get one? So there are a few ways to get one, but one of the easiest way is that if you have friends or family members who have dragon fruit um, in their backyard and uh, is willing to give you a cutting, then you are one very lucky individual. If not, then the other option is to buy it. Um, there are a few platforms that you can buy it if you live in the U.S., um, such as Craigslist, Amazon, um, and eBay eBay is actually my favorite. It is where I got my cuttings for my, you know, my initial cuttings that I have in my garden. Um, and I think that they have one of the most reasonable pricing structures that there is out there. Also, now that I have my own dragon fruit in my backyard, I am now a seller on eBay. And I sell dragon fruit cuttings on eBay. Uh, if you would like to buy a cotton from me, uh, the links to my eBay list will be in the description below. And I will be coming out with another video on how I sell my dragon fruit cuttings on eBay. You know, with step one from the cotton, how to package it, how to ship it, and so forth. And that will be coming in the near future. So if you would like to be the first to get notified, of that content please subscribe to my channel so back to the main topic for today how do you root a dragon fruit cotton uh, first things first um, so these are two cuttings that are from my garden uh, this one here I've cut and let it dry or cure for one week and this is the one that I just cut maybe just a few moments ago um, as you can see, if you look at the end here where I made the cut, you can see that the inner flash is exposed. If you are to stick this into the soil to let it root, there is a high chance and high probabil probability that it will rot. Uh, the reason for that is because water or moisture or bacteria will get into the freshly you know, cut inner flash and it will rot and your chance of rooting this cotton will fail. That, and that is the reason why we always recommend that you leave your cotton outside in the shade for at a minimum of one week to let the inner flesh heal. So it becomes dry like this, so that it is a barrier between the inner flesh and, you know, and the environment so that water and moisture and whatever it is can't get in to rot your cotton you know, then that will give you a better chance of success in trying to root the cotton, right? So, so another issue is that if you buy a cotton like this from eBay, right? How do you know which size goes to the ground, right? It looks, it looks, you can't tell the difference, right? If you have grown dragon fruit before, then you know, the, the, you know, then it is more likely that you will know. But if you are new to growing dragon fruit, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't necessarily know which end needs to go up, which which end needs to go down. Uh, one easy tip to figure that out is to look at the uh, the spikes. It always points up, right? So this guy's here points up. So this end needs to go up and this goes into the soil right so if you turn it upside down the spikes points down so this is the incorrect way right and then this is the right way right so most people start their dragon fruit cuttings inside a inside a pot like this uh, you can pack it with you know just regular soil you don't really need and you know potting soil just any type of soil 
And what you would do is that you would maybe stick this into the soil about an inch or an inch and a half and just water it lightly. You don't have to necessarily water it a lot because it has no roots. It is not going to do anything with all that water. It just needs a tiny bit of moisture so that this cotton knows that it needs to grow roots to, you know, to, to take in the nutrient and start growing, right? And then, and this is the typical way that people would do it to, uh, to root their cutting. However, for me, I don't go with this step. For me, because of where I am located and the location that my trellis are in, my cutting go straight into the ground after one week of uh, you know sitting in my shed to to let the flesh heal right so let's take a look uh, at my garden right now so these are the cuttings that i have rooted maybe two months ago as you can see uh, it comes in various size you know some tall some short uh, if you look at this one right here, this one is about six inches. This is the same size that I would sell on eBay. And if you look at the new growth, it just looked like any other um, cuttings that I have here. So here are some that may be a foot. This one is about two feet and uh, this yet to be in a new growth. Um, so the size is, you know, the, the length of the cutting doesn't matter much for me. I like to keep it on the shoulder end around six inches because you know is you know there's less cuttings to worry about it's, it's you know it's small and it's very convenient and it will do the same jobs as you know as the other cuttings that you can buy you know from eBay or on Craigslist or get it from a friend or a family member uh, one tip is that when your dragon fruit start to have new growth there may be one, two, or three, four new growth that comes out, you know, maybe at the top of the cotton, in the middle, or at the bottom. My recommendation is pick one new growth that you think is, you know, is the healthiest and abort all the other new growth. The reason for that is so that the cotton can, you know, pour all of its energy into one new growth so that that new growth can grow as quickly as it can. You know, let's say you have a cutting with one new growth, it, you know, within a month, it might grow a foot. But if you have three cuttings, no, I'm sorry, three new growths, you know, those new growths might grow to about maybe four or five inches per new growth, right? So what you really want to do is just abort, you know, at least two of the new growth and just keep one and let that go all the way up to the top of your trellis. Then you, you can just, you know, sniff it off so then that it can branch out into a canopy right so another tip is when you hear people plant just anything they want your soil to be well drained right but as a noob in this field you would ask yourself and you know what is well drained soil and you would you know as me when i first started i would worry whether my soil is well drained or or not right but it's not that hard. It's not that, you know, complicated. What that means is that you don't have any standing water, uh, of, you know, where you are planting your plant. And with um, dragon fruit, their root system is extremely shallow. So if you are not planting this in mud, I wouldn't worry about that step to whether, you know, you want your soil as well drained or not. You know, if it's if there's not mud, if there's no mud, then your soil is probably well drained. Um, so let's take a look in my garden again. I'm going to show you how the root system spread. Uh, if you look under my pavement here, you can see that the root is, you know, right on top of the soil. You know, so they have a very shallow root system. So those are the tips, you know, the, the, the tips on how I root my dragon fruit. It goes straight into the ground. The reason I can do it is because uh, here in Southern California, the weather is not harsh. Um, the sun is not too intense. Um, and where these trellises are, 
um, you know, at the base of the trellis, it only gets about maybe an hour, two hours of sunlight per day max. And at the top, it is where it gets about six to seven hours of sunlight per day. And that is the reason why my cottons can go straight into the ground. Um, but if you want to plant your dragon fruit in an area, in an open area where it gets sun for maybe about 10 to 12 hours a day and the sun is quite harsh, then I would recommend you start in a pot like this and leave it in the shade with filter sunlight, you know, until your new growth get to about maybe a foot, then you can then transplant that to where you want um, your dragon fruit to grow into the trellis that you have there. So that pretty much concludes um, today's video. And if you have any questions or any comments, uh, you know, feel free to post it, you know, in the comment section below. And if you want to buy a dragon fruit cutting from me and, you know, and is, you know, is living within the 48, lower 48 states in the U.S., I do have them for sales on eBay. And the links to my listing will be in the description below. Thank you and have a good day.